And as I promised, I'm going to show you the results of my cleaning of the shutter of this Canon EOS 10S. Uh, this is the next day, uh, and the reason I kind of waited uh, some time is to give a chance for all the solvent that we used uh, while cleaning out the, uh, uh, the black tar to uh, off-gas and evaporate. Uh, so I can give you a good test of how the shutter performs now. Uh, cosmetically, if you want to take a look, you can see the shutter um, has some cleaning marks on it, but uh, uh, no tar is remains. And if you want to check out the other side here, I'm not sure we can get it a uh, good, good picture in there, but uh, uh, you can see uh, it's just about the same. Uh, you can see a little bit of cleaning marks that the uh, solvent left behind, but uh, there is no black tar. So, how does she perform? Uh, well, we're going to try the same thing here. we got a flashlight, and we're going to put it behind here so you can actually see the actuation of the shutter. I uh, have it on manual here. Let's get a uh, nice, good shutter speed. How about half a second or so. Here is uh, one fiftieth of a second. Okay. okay. Let's speed it up a little bit. Um, let's go to uh, one hundred and twenty-fifth of a second. Uh, if we kept the mirror out of the way, you can see it a little bit better. Okay, you can see the, the shutter speed is getting faster, so you'll see less and less of light coming through. Uh, one five hundredth. Okay. One thousand. Okay. And let's go up to the maximum one four thousandth of a second. Okay. Uh, it's very, very quick shutter speed, so you only see a very, very fleeting uh, uh, glimpse of the light, but it works. And uh, uh, I don't have a shutter speed tester, so I don't know if these speeds are accurate, but um, I have uh, run some film through here, and the exposure looks, looks pretty accurate. So, uh, I have to pronounce this a success. Uh, I now have a, a Canon EOS 10S which is fully functional and uh, will uh, fire on all speeds. Uh, however, one word of warning, uh, you know, we've cleaned out the what we could of the shutter bumper inside there. There might be still uh, some components of that shutter which will deteriorate over time and reintroduce the problem. So whenever I do something like this, uh, whenever I change film, I always look again for the telltale signs or uh, the just the black tar that will show up on the shutter, uh, which will indicate that the uh, will need to be cleaned again. Uh, again, the only way to really solve this problem is to replace the shutter at significant cost. But since I do not want to do that, uh, I'll clean the shutter. Uh, the frequency, I don't really know because uh, all the camera bodies I've done this for, once I've cleaned them, they have stayed clean for uh, uh, going on two or three years now. So if this uh, problem does reintroduce itself, uh, it it's, it'll be far into the future. So all I have to do, get a camera lens, put this bad boy on here, and now I have fully functional camera. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this.